Good evening, sir. Would you follow me, please? It certainly gives you a new slant. What with the Chinese on one side and the American fleet on the other, down here's the only place in Hong Kong you can't be bugged. And with current real estate prices in Hong Kong, quite practical, really. Any luck? A Chinese fighter we managed to salvage. Good evening, 007. Glad to see you're still with us. In future, Commander Bond, if you must tour the world of Susie one by night, kindly inform our man here, Lieutenant Head. Sorry, Commander. I had to get you away from the Hong Kong police, but didn't know how much you knew. Nothing. But I think I should report, sir, that Scaramanga does not have a contract on me. He couldn't have missed me tonight. Instead, he hit some chap coming out of a club. I got quite a shock when I saw who it was. I should think you did. Our missing solar energy expert, Gibson. Yes, Gibson. He was prepared to come back under certain conditions. That's why I'm out here with Professor Frazier. Lieutenant Hip was making a preliminary contact. I almost wish that Scaramanga had a contract on you. Was Gibson cooperative? He wanted to bargain for immunity, suggested another meeting in Bangkok to discuss terms. Why Bangkok? I got the impression he worked there for High Fat. That name's come up before. A multimillionaire, head of High Fat Enterprises. All of them legitimate, as far as we know. What did Gibson propose bargaining with, Lieutenant? A Solex. Claimed it was 95% efficient. If he developed a solar cell that efficient, he solved the energy crisis. Yes, so you've told me. Coal and oil will soon be depleted. Uranium's too dangerous. Geothermal and tidal control too expensive. I know all that. Where's the Solex now? Solex agitator, sir. The essential unit to convert radiation from the sun into electricity on an industrial basis. Well, it's only about that size. It won't take me long to check out Gibson's efficiency claim. Now, this, this, this is really exciting now. May I see it, Lieutenant? He showed it to me at the bar and replaced it in his pocket. And after he was shut, it wasn't there. I looked. Gentlemen, I congratulate you. Instead of getting our hands on a perfected Solex, we're left with a useless corpse and no leads. One lead, sir. Assuming Gibson was killed by Scaramanga, whoever hired him could afford a million dollars. Are you suggesting high fat? He could afford it. Out of petty cash. A thought has just occurred to me, sir. If high fat hired Scaramanga, it's highly unlikely that he met him personally. Why? In the event of anything going wrong, there's nothing to connect the two. And that gives me an idea as to how to approach him. Q, I'll uh, need this. Rare it up, Lord Seven. Oh, I admit it's a little kinky. You'll take Miss Goodnight with you. Good night, sir. After tonight's dead battle, an efficient liaison officer wouldn't come amiss. Thank you, sir. You won't get anywhere near high fats. I have some relatives in Bangkok. I have often passed his place. He lives in a big house on a mountainside, surrounded by guards.